Welcome to Wiggle Sticks TV. Got the rear brake uh, in now, which is good. Uh, had a slight issue, well, a couple of slight issues. I had this um, caliper mounting space or whatever it's called. I had that in back the front and then I also had the spacer from this side on the other side and vice versa. So once I pulled the axle out, uh, spun this around, spun the spacers around, uh, everything sits in there quite nicely. Um, I've got the master cylinder and everything mounted. Um, I haven't bled the brakes yet but it Feel, the action feels quite nice. I do have a slight problem with the clearance uh, in here of the bottom of the master cylinder and the swing arm. I think that is this part of the reset here is either bent or I need to check on the other side to see um, see what damage is on there because I did uh, restore this set so I have to pull this up and just see what's um, happening and then I need to move these little rubber things up the line a little bit so they fit into the uh, space a bit better. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead now and bleed the system and uh, hopefully we'll have some breaks. System is all complete and working. Um, I have a little bit too much movement in the brake pedal but um, I'll look into investigations about how to resolve that later on. Um, Everything's all mounted in place and everything now. Uh, when I spin the wheel, it uh, the brakes actually come on. So that's uh, a bit of a bonus, which we didn't have earlier on today. So um, new pads and new rotor. So it might just take a little bit for the everything to bed in a little bit. But um, yeah, just got to sort out these rubber things in the right spot, and uh, it's all completed. So. Um, yeah, no leaks or anything so far. Uh, I do have to figure out this little gap that we were talking about before with the rear set, but um, I'll leave that for another day. Um, it's fine on the other side, it's just this side. Uh, there's a strange bit of a gap, so um, yeah. Another job off the list. I found a spare um, foot peg floating around and it has uh, this piece on the bottom here that the spring clips into. So I'm going to take the uh, take this piece off this particular foot peg um, and then see rip the foot pegs off the uh, S-Rad and see how or if it's possible for this to mount to the Woodcraft pegs because um, I really want to keep a brake light uh, functioning on here. So. I'll just get to doing that now. After a little bit more investigation, I think the issue is uh, in the, the grooving inside, the casting inside the, um, in the swing arm. It's got this little ridge here and here. And the, the base of the, um, of the footrest here is just not sitting flushly so that it's resting in the corner of there um, rather than sitting flush where it needs to be so I'm just gonna go and uh, take a little bit off the corners there these ones already have some off there but I think just take a little bit more off there um, and it should fit flushly where it's not knocking on this um, this little gap in the frame here rear brakes all mounted in now uh, I've got a spacer I filed this back on the other side and I've also got a spacer a spacer in there just to space it out from the frame a little bit. Um, seems to be enough gap and stuff in there now so I just have to keep an eye on it and see if I need to do any more modifications uh, to this piece of the uh, rear set down the track but um, at the moment it's done. I haven't really figured out a solution to um, get this spring from the um, the that turns the brake lights on and on uh, attached to the Woodcraft reset so I have to do a little bit more research on that um, just to find the best solution for what people are doing with these rear sets to get a um, the brake light um, working so uh, 
a little bit more work to do on that regard, but the rear set is in there with the brakes and everything all mounted now. One of the other little jobs I managed to uh, get done today was to clean up the rest of the um, exhaust headers and the bolt that uh, just plug into the other part of the system. Um, it's a pretty straightforward job, just use some wet and dry and then a little bit of metal polish on top of it. Um, same method I used to clean up the rest of the um, exhaust system. Uh, so it looks pretty nice. I think it's all in the right position. I was just basing it off this set of standard headers um, I have here. So this one I think is a um, an arrow system. Um, I think I've got all the springs and everything in the right position. So I just have to wait for the engine to arrive and then maybe just do some fine tuning of the actual angles of the different pieces. But um, yeah, it's all cleaned up nicely and uh, ready to go. So it's... Um, it's one more thing I can cross off the list. Um, it's pretty sturdy, springs and everything look good, cleaned up pretty well. Um, yeah, looking forward to uh, COVID restrictions ending so that I can go and get my engine from the uh, other side of the border. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you again in the next one.